Hey, welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel. I wanted to go over this video right here. It's from Jeff from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. And I wanted to point out something. This channel is a commentary channel. So I will be stopping the video. And one of the reasons I do that, well, there's two reasons. Number one, it's called fair use. If you don't, if you use somebody else's content and you don't make it your own, you can get in trouble with YouTube or whatever platform. But the second thing is I want you to go to people like Jeff from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations, and I want you to give them your view because they deserve it. And I wanted to point out to you the work that it takes to do a video like this, number one. And number two, the objective that Jeff and people like Jeff are trying to accomplish in America. This is from City Hall, Boynton Beach, Florida. Freedom of religion, the freedom of assembly on a traditional public forum. And look at this. This is a public sidewalk. And this is a public park. But yet they have a no trespassing sign right here. Absolutely ridiculous. But all right, let's see how it goes. I'll just be standing right here on the sidewalk in this general area. God bless the homeless vets. God bless the homeless veterans. I'm sorry? I can't hear you over the thing. I'm hard of hearing. You can't be panhandling over here. That's fine. You can't be here doing that. That's well, what I'm telling you. You can't be panhandling. No. Okay. At all. Okay. All right. How you doing, sir? God bless You know, it's not true. It's not true. Under the moral code, under natural law, if if a man wants to beg another man for money, that is a voluntary exercise. The man can beg for money, and the people that he's begging don't have to give it, or they can give it. It's all it's all voluntary. Now, the government doesn't like this kind of thing because they don't like competition and they want to tell you what to do. And anybody who dons the mantle of authoritarian debt, they cannot live. They cannot live another moment until they tell another man that he cannot do something. There's nothing illegitimate or immoral about panhandling. Nothing at all. Nobody's getting hurt. Nobody's being threatened. No property is being damaged. Further, he's in a public place that's being paid for through the scrapings of tax dollars known as taxation, i.e. theft. How you doing, man? Sorry. God bless the homeless veterans. God bless the homeless vets. You guys didn't call the cops on me, did you? Why? You said no panhandling. I said, okay. These two guys right here are black. They of all people should know what kind of dangerous situation they're putting anybody in when they call an authoritarian with a gun, with a badge and a gun and the authority of the state to take care of somebody and usher them off of a public place. They're literally putting Jeff Gray's life in danger. Anytime you call a cop, it's never a good thing. When you sprinkle government, any kind of government entity or government agent into a situation, it always makes that situation worse worse and more dangerous. When cops show up, you could literally lose your life, not just go to jail. Glenn Police and Fire ID 4980. This line is recorded. How can I help you? Can Hello? I request one officer on the scene? We have a homeless guy panhandling in front of the city hall. I told him to leave property numerous times. Okay, so it's a homeless guy panhandling in front of city hall, right? Yes. Okay, we'll get an officer to come out. Okay, you know that infamous combative nature of Jeff Gray from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. I mean, we see we see how formidable he is. He's always yelling at people, screaming at the top of his lungs, engaging in combative behavior. Never, never. I've seen many, many videos of Jeff Gray. Never seen him be combative like that. Stand for his rights? Yes. If you want to call that combative, okay, that's fine. That's just because you don't like freedom, Mr. or Mrs. whoever you are that just called the cops. Outside the building. There's the ID in here. Sir, you see ID? Uh, let's, let's start off on the right foot. I'm, I'm standing on a public sidewalk. Engaged right. in a constitutionally protected activity. Safeguarded by the First Amendment. This is freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly. Is that what this is? Is it? Uh, you tell me, my man. You're the one standing in front of City Hall. With the so the cop walks up to do what? To make Jeff insecure in his person. Give me your ID. Make yourself known to me so that I can put you in my police database. Never talk to cops. Never relinquish your ID. Always make sure you're secure in your person. Stand on your rights. And now this guy's putting his gloves on. What? You would think this guy is dealing with somebody who just 
offed a bunch of people at a school or something, or just robbed a bank, or just threatened a whole bunch of people. Uh, that's right. Uh, Saying a traditional public form of the sign that says "God bless the sun." Whatever happens, going. Yeah. Excellent. You're not getting ID for a constitutional protected activity. Uh, so are you? You're not getting ID for a constitutional protected activity. All right. Give me a second. One of those. Oh, oh, one of those, one of those, what, Ossifer? One of those Americans who actually believes in the value of our freedoms, believes in the value of his freedom and the freedoms of every American, including you, officer, and including the children that you may or may not have or children that you'll have in the future. That's what Jeff Gray is doing. Yeah, one of those, officer. One of those who actually values human rights. One of those. Oh, one of those. 32. Jeff standing his ground over there. I love it. Love it. Sovereign. Okay. No, this is just. He's recording. Yeah. And so are we. Just... Officer 2, body cam. <laughs> Officer Levine. Uh, let's start on the direct way. Uh, I'm standing on a public sidewalk. Okay. Constitution protected activity. Safeguarded by the First Amendment. This is freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Are you freedom recording of assembly. us right now? Is that what this is? An audit? The First Amendment audit? Is that what this is? Is it? Uh, you tell me, my man. You're the one standing out in front of City Hall with a sign. That's right. So, standing on a traditional public forum with a sign that says God bless someone's Is that what we're doing? Yep. How can you get a more wholesome message than that? God bless the homeless vets. How are you going to mess some, mess with somebody like that? What kind of dark heart do you have to be to descend to that level to mess with this guy? Obviously not hurting anybody. Obviously not threatening anybody. Obviously not damaging property. Pro property obviously on a public sidewalk engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. And look at this cop's face right here. This cop is absolutely not listening to Jeff as Jeff talks to him. Look at his face. Jeff is talking about the Constitution of the United States that this cop right here swore to protect, defend, and uphold. And look at him, not even making eye contact, looking away, reaching into his pockets, about to grab his glove so he can go hands-on. These people don't care about us. They don't care about you. When they put on that uniform, they're not public servants. They're serving themselves. They're serving their department. They're serving the state apparatus. They're not serving us. Yep. <clears throat> Who else is coming over here? Sovereign? Sovereign. No, this is just... He's recording. Yeah. And so are we, which is fine. You know what he should have said right there? What do you mean sovereign? We're the ones who are walking around acting like we're sovereign. We're the ones who blow stop lights. We're the ones who go uh, above and beyond the speed limit while we issue tickets to them for doing the same things that we do. We're the ones that have qualified immunity. What do you mean sovereign? You, you need to get your Shiite together, but, but no, you don't have another good cop here. There's not one good cop. Thank goodness they have body cams here. Thank goodness that Jeff Gray was rolling his camera. You always want to record the police and you always want to FOIA request their body cam footage. That's another thing about the videos like this. It takes a lot of work. There's no telling how much time it took to FOIA request and get this body camera footage so he could put this video together. That's another thing I appreciate about First Amendment auditors and people like Jeff Gray from Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations because it really exposes the epidemic of tyranny that we have going on in America. And so when this cop goes, oh, another one of those sovereigns, he doesn't care about you. You're operating as a sovereign. What this cop should have said is, shut up. Don't you realize we got a call for somebody engaged in constitutionally protected activity? We should actually be giving Jeff Gray an award for standing for our rights. Because if we don't exercise our rights, we're going to lose them. So not one good cop on the scene. The cop was willing to go hands-on. The, cop, the cops easily forsook their oath because of, oh, we got a call. Somebody's panhandling. These cops should say, so what? Panhandling isn't a violation of anything. I don't get, and if you have a code or an ordinance or a statute or a law against it, guess what? The Constitution overrides that. I took an oath to the Constitution and dang it, 
I'm going to uphold it or die trying. There's like another, what is this? Uh, five, four, four minutes left in this. I will leave the link to Jeff's video so you can watch the rest of it in its entirety without interruption. I really appreciate the things that Jeff Gray does. Hats off to him. He got, he's got over 200,000 subscribers. Well-deserved. I, I sent him a message. Congrats for the 200,000 subscribers. You deserve a million, a million at least. It's work like this. It's exposure like this that enables us to do what we do so we can exercise our rights. Because I'll tell you guys, it's it sounds old, it sounds cliche, but if you don't exercise them, if you don't use your rights, you will lose them. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to give Jeff Gray some love. Tell him, here's the deal sent you, and I will see you in the next video.